I went through the downloaded information on Wendy Adelson's desktop computer that had been processed by TPD technical support members. Possible matters of interest were numerous Google Chrome keyword searches that Wendy had conducted on the victim's new girlfriend, Amy Adler, Amy's ex-husband, and Amy's brother. Wendy had also performed searches on several porn sites to include teacher-student porn. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my latest video. If you watched my previous videos, you know I think Wendy tried to frame Jeff Lacasse, her ex-boyfriend. What I haven't gone into is Dan Markell's girlfriend, Amy Adler. The more I watched Wendy Adelson's police interview, the more I noticed how jealous Wendy Adelson was of Amy Adler. Let's get into it. I can't believe this is happening. I know. And he was, he, he was a professor at the law school, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you, your divorce has been two years or the total separation, I'm assuming? Total separation has been two years. Um, our divorce was finalized last summer around this time. Okay. He has, he wouldn't do this to himself. He has a girlfriend now. Do you know his girlfriend? I met her once in the last couple of weeks she was visiting. She lives in New York. Okay. Do you know anything about her? I, I know some things about her. Um, she knows some things about her. So a little more than some things. Let's get into all the things she knows about Amy Adler. Um, she's also a law professor. I know she's recently divorced and she has a son. Um, I don't know if her divorce is final, but I think recently divorced. Um, Where's she a law professor at? At um, NYU. Okay. Um, and they seemed very happy. And I mean, I think that was a really good thing in his life. He seemed really happy about it. Because we know Wendy was very concerned about the good things happening for Dan in his life. You know, with her brother now being convicted of his murder and her mom pending trial for the same thing. But yeah, Wendy, she was very excited for the good things that was happening to Dan. She came down here, she met the boys, and um, I met her and she told me how great she loved the boys. You know, like it seemed to, it seemed to she, fine. Did she ever stay at the house with him? Just that one time. When was that? Um, I remember because I just uh, I just got back from um, being with my family in South Florida. Um, um, uh, sorry. It's okay. Um, You're doing great. I so what date was it? I went with my family. It was my dad's 70th birthday, and we went home for it, so... Interesting choice of words there, huh? I thought her home was in Tallahassee then, but she says she went home to Miami for that trip. And remind me again, what was Wendy doing when she was at her parents' house for her dad's birthday? Oh, that's right. She was confirming where Dan was the day he was going to be murdered. All right, so I want to ask you about a message um, from... The Celebrite of Wendy Adelson's cell phone from July 6th of 2014. So chronologically, this is going to be after the June trip that we just saw, and it's going to be before the July trip where Dan Markell ended up being murdered. Was there a text sent on July 6th by Wendy Adelson to Dan Markell? Yes. All right. Can you show that to us? Okay, what does this text say? Uh, from Wendy Adelson, it inquires of Mr. Markell, are you in Tallahassee July 14th through the 18th? I just wanted to know if I can have the kiddos on the 16th. Thanks. Okay. And he says, yes, you can? He does. His birthday was the 5th. I left Monday the 30th, so she must have come into town Saturday, the evening of the 28th. What month? June. June. This past June. Just, just now. So, June 28th, um, and then, um, and then I, and then she was there with the boys the 29th, and then I met her on the morning of the 30th when I picked up the kids, um, to take them to South Florida. So, right before she goes on her trip for her dad's birthday, where she texts Dan, was when she met Amy with her kids. Do you know when she left? Um... I could probably find it, um, like, in the email and stuff. I think she was here for, like, one more day, and then Danny went up to New York 
because I was with the kids in Miami um, for a, a good long while I was there. I drove back July 10th, so I was there almost two weeks. Um, and so I think he went up the next day. Okay. Do you know her name? I do. It's um, Amy Adler. Oh my gosh, she's... A-D? Um, A-D-L-E-R. And she's a professor of law at yeah. NYU? Yeah. What kind of car does she drive? I have no idea. I didn't know she has a car. She lives in New York City. Well, so, I mean, she was driving down. I mean, she was she flew down here, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have her phone number? I don't. Okay. Um, it, I don't know how long they were dating even. Um, it seemed kind of serious if she met the kids, but I, I don't really know. Um, he's been going up to New York for um, the conferences and stuff since Lincoln was about um, a few months old. So he's been... He's been going up there three and a half years, so I, I, my guess was that they might have known each other for a long time, but have been dating, I don't, I don't know how long. Well, let me ask you something. Does his relationship with her have anything to do with your old divorce? No. No? It had nothing to do with uh, no. an extramarital affair or anything? No, but the only thing I'm thinking is Amy, um, I don't know what Amy's full divorce situation is like, so if you're going to think of someone who's not thrilled with Danny, I don't know how happy her husband or ex-husband is with the situation. Do you know anything about him? I don't know anything about him. Okay. So you know Amy Adler, she's a professor at NYU. She was down here from the end of June through the first part of July. I think just a few days. Right. Yeah. As visiting, but he'd been seeing her when he goes to New York on these conference yeah, trips. Yeah. Um, well, He's in New York in the summertime. We have an, a week on, week off schedule with the boys. So whenever I have them for a week, he goes up to New York for a week. So he's been spending a lot of time up there. Did he say, did he relate to you that he'd been seeing her up in New York or that's where they met or anything of that nature? He didn't tell me about it, but um, I feel like he was pretty vocal with the girlfriends and people probably since December about her being his girlfriend. Okay. So. All right, so that's the first time she discusses Amy Adler in this interview. Let's go about 30 minutes later. I'm sorry, I wasted sorry. my time. No, you're not wasting my time. Did you, I think I asked you before, you don't have a number for Amy. You do, you do not have a contact number for her. But you know she's a professor at NYU. Yeah. You know that, that her and Danny have been seeing each other and that she stayed here from the end of June to the 1st of July. Just. At least two days, maybe. Yeah. 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 And she met the children. Yeah, she met a few friends in town too. And you don't know anything about her ex. No, I know she was married. Right. Um, and she has children. She has a son. In New York. In New York. Okay. She's a, a son. Um, I think he's fourteen. Okay. Um, Do you know how old Amy is? She's fifty. All right. Here we get to the part where Wendy pretends like she's complimenting Amy but then goes into weird detail like she always does when she's lying or being a psycho, sociopath, narcissist. She's 50? Yeah. She doesn't look 50. She's very beautiful. But she is, not that you can't be beautiful at 50, but she looks really young. She's very pretty and accomplished. And um, you, have, you know her date of birth? I only know that she is 50. I don't, because I was looking her up one time, feeling. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Detective Isom is like, I get it. You're stalking her. Oh, okay. Ha ha. Okay, so she's 50. She goes by Amy Adler. Her middle initial is M. M. Okay. So that, like, if you looked her up, oh my God. If you looked her up on the, the law school website, you'd find her that way. Okay. Her brother's a famous, he's like a famous fashion designer, so I think they spend a lot of weekends like in the Hamptons and she lives in the city and lives like, you know, good, good life. Okay. So what do we get out of that conversation from Wendy? She knows Amy is pretty, accomplished, her brother is famous, she's a uh, professor who got her job probably not because of her husband aka like Wendy did she goes to the Hamptons she hangs in the city 
It's almost like Amy is everything that Wendy wishes she was. Is that the last time we talk about Amy Adler in this interview? It sure isn't. Let's go to the next time she talks about Amy about 20 minutes later. I keep thinking the only like unknown I I can think of is like Amy's ex-husband. Like, is he still in the picture? Is he upset? Right. Danny, I um uh, I defriended him from Facebook because I found it too upsetting to like see intermittent pictures of the kids. Um, oh, so that's why she defriended Dan. Had nothing to do with the bitter divorce battle they had. That she just left him without any notice that she was divorcing him. That her family was harassing him. That they couldn't stand him. But that's the reason that she unfollowed Dan on Facebook. Oh, interesting. But I wonder, he's very, very public on Facebook about like where he is, when he's traveling, where he's going. And so I wonder if he's got pictures up of him and Amy and if there's a jealous ex-husband in the... You know where this ex-husband would be? He'd be in New York too. Is he also an attorney? I don't even know his name. Okay. I just know um, they, um, when Amy came down here, they went over a mutual friend of ours. It's a guy that um, works at the law school. This guy Jay and his wife Dory is a good friend of mine and they have kids my kid's age. And she's, I said to her, I remember saying, so what's she like, you know, like she met her before I did. And she said, you know, she's really nice and she's, you know, very sweet. And she's recently divorced too. So she knows how awkward all of this is to meet the new person. Okay. And there we have those weird Wendy hand gestures that she tends to make. I'm sure she was super happy to hear from her friend that Amy was very cool and good with the kids and a good person and handling it well. I'm sure that went over well for Wendy. Um, I don't know what I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, Wendy, I'm sure you were real scared. Now, was that the last time they talk about Amy Adler in the police interview? It's sure not. Let's see when she talks to Jane the Cackling Hyena about it. The only thing I could come up with was like his girlfriend Amy is recently divorced, separated, not really divorced. Sure, like, sure. So the, what if, either of those people, like the jealous boyfriend types, like what if the ex-husband... Right, 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 totally. And things were entering a new phase where he has this girlfriend and he's out of town a lot and that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't That's why I know there's just, I mean, given his personality and everything, there's no way that he did this. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. He, he didn't plans to be out of town. He was leaving on Saturday. And he was delighted like, with Amy, and he's been delighted with this. Yeah. And delighted, delighted with the boys, and yeah. and de delighted with. No, with, he's is he 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 didn't do this. So somebody did. He was angry and upset about the divorce. Really, really angry. Thanks so much for the help, Jane. Blah. Another weird thing that she does in this interview is several times she's like, Dan definitely didn't do this to himself. Yeah, no shit, Wendy. No one ever said that. And it's just another way of Wendy to repeat things to make it like, there's no way she could have done this because she thought it was a suicide. She didn't think it was a murder. Ugh, the worst. So basically my whole point regarding this is I just think that Wendy was super jealous of Amy and there was no way that she was going to let Dan be happy with this new, better version of her. And there was no way she was going to let her kids be with this new, better version of her. But before I end this video, there's another point I wanted to make. And I wanted to refer back to that part of the police report that I showed before, which shout out to Fancy Fiction who uh, sent me a copy. She's awesome. You should follow her. But there's another point I want to make here. Wendy had also performed keyword searches on several porn sites to include teacher slash student porn. So that porn part is interesting to me because you guys know as well as I do that there's no way that Wendy Adelson would want it out there that she was searching porn, right? So what does that lead me to believe? She did not erase her devices as well as she thought she did. So, any hoozle, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's all greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll catch you on the next one.